Okay, so video for page seven. Oh, okay, there it is. So you're gonna need from your vocab packets the word erosion and the word deposition. The pictures that go with those. Erosion looks kind of like a waterfall, but it's more like a swamp that's falling off a cliff. And then deposition says the word deposition on it. And then you're gonna need the pink erosion paper and the blue deposition paper. So we're gonna start with the word erosion. Okay, the erosion is the transport, that just means movement, like think about transportation, of weathered, so it's already broken down, remember our word yesterday, weathering, so after it's already been weathered, we're going to erode, so the transport of weathered rock by water, wind, ice, or gravity to another location. So even if that location is five feet away, it still counts as being eroded. So erosion Oh, this second one. So we're going to put a sign here. Is not equal to weathering. A lot of people use the you can either write it like that, equal sign, and put a line through it, or you can write a no sign. A lot of people think that erosion and weathering are the same thing, but they're not. They're two parts of a bigger process. So, in fact, erosion happens after. Write that in all caps. After. You cannot move the weathered rock unless it's already been weathered or broken down. Erosion changes the Earth's surface by moving pieces of rock and sediment. Remember that word sediment? Little pieces of rock junk, broken up rock, sediment from one place to another. So when you look at this picture of what used to be looks like, like a prairie or a nice side of a hill, what happened there? and explain how the picture might represent the word erosion. Eventually that's gonna get glued in at the top of the page. But we're gonna do the word deposition <coughs> next. The definition of deposition, which has the word deposit in it. So deposit is like to put something in somewhere. So deposition is the natural process of adding Transported, remember that just means moved. Transported, moved. Sediments to a rock or landform. So that's either we're building a new sedimentary rock or we're building something that's made out of sedimentary rock like um, a mountain or a hillside or a river valley. So making a new feature on Earth's surface. So this is the order that um, things happen in. So if we remember, it's weathering, which is the same as breaking, then erosion, which is moving, and then we've got deposition, which is like the sediments are getting dropped, dropping, dropping in place. So in addition to rocks, um, I don't know what my second one was. In addition to rocks, Let's just write one. Landforms are also often formed by deposition. So this is, tells you right here, the process of dropping sediment by water or wind. So how would um, sand in a new place get deposited there?
We're going to glue this one down at the bottom. But we're going to well, you didn't underline through these, so you need to get something to underline on these ones with. So after rocks are eroded, oh, after rocks are broken down, after they're weathered, remember, broken weathering, the sediments are moved. The movement is erosion to a new place. This movement is called erosion. Erosion, movement. Rainwater often erodes soil and sediments down hills. That's kind of like that picture. Rivers, waves, and glaciers carry sediments into a new place. The wind can move particles of sand or soil to a new place. So think about it. We've got things that can erode. Rainwater, rivers, waves, glaciers, wind, all things that can move um, sediment. Okay, now we've got deposition, so that's like, so let's write in here, move, drop. Okay, after sediments are eroded, so that's after, so this is the third step. So this was step two, this is step three. They are dropped off in a new location. This dropping off is called deposition. Waves can do it. Drop off sand, forming beaches, rivers, drop off sediments in the mouths of rivers, forming deltas, and finally glacier melts the sediments um, and wind can blow them into those shapes. So that, I know it sounds like the movement, but think about this as the last step where gravity takes effect and drops things down. So it's like those things are finally, so in erosion it's where those things are holding it and moving it. And then in deposition, it's when gravity takes over and stops those things from moving it. So like when all those things let go of it, that's when deposition happens. So the way you're going to get this glued in is you are going to glue in erosion up here at the top. I don't know if I have a lot of things to glue. I should have been doing it as we went. Uh, then you are going to do, hopefully these will fit this way. We're going to fold these up. Okay, then you're going to do deposition at the bottom. So get your glue on those. And then we're going to have to fold our cards in half. So I like to do it like this. So gluing in the back side, of, so you'll see once I glue it in, which way I glued it in. My alarms. i got to stop turning those on. So I've got erosion, so it opens up like this. And then deposition, I'm going to glue in so that it opens up like this. So you're not going to glue on those back parts. So make sure you take a picture of that whole thing. Okay.